Hey, you know who it is. It's your boy, Shooter the Investor, and I'm checking in for the gang. Hey, gang, you already know, man. We jumping straight into the mix. No intro, raw, uncut. I got a banger for y'all today. And we're going to be talking about a cryptocurrency project that's trying to change Web3 before Web3 even take off. They're trying to corner the market within the data storage API sector. Yeah, we talking about none other than the graph. Now, if you know about the graph, go ahead and drop that fire emoji in the chat or under the, in the comments right now. Just go crazy with the fire. If you know the graph, you already know what they're trying to do. I won't even say what they're trying to do, what they're currently doing right now. And they're expanding, already getting their foot, best foot forward within the Web3 business. We're going to talk about them. I'm going to go ahead and, you know, lead y'all to the water. At the end of the day, you still need to go do your research. Why? Because I am not a financial advisor. I'm just trying to put you up on the place that I'm doing or I'm currently in. So this is not me telling you to go buy the graph. This is not me telling you to sell the graph. This is not me telling you to hold the graph or the GRT token. This is me giving you some facts, some information behind the project. And if you feel that this is something that you want in your portfolio, then you do what you need to do. And if not, it is what it is. You feel me? <laughs> All right, man. Let's go ahead and cut into it. Let me go ahead and flop this screen. screen. First and foremost, we're going to look at this fear and greed index. We previously did this on Wednesday. It was roughly about 55, 56. It was a little 51 ish. It was a little like eh, a little neutral, you know what I'm saying? But now we are tweaking. We're starting to move into that. That green zone, we still a little yellow, you know what I'm saying? The Fed came out and raised the interest rate up 0.25%, which we talked about already back on Monday. We kind of expected that. It's probably already baked in into the wall and <clears throat> into the stock market already. We were kind of expecting that. Unfortunately, the three big tech companies, Apple, Google, oh, who else reported earnings today? This is Thursday. I'm doing this video the second. Apple, Google. Uh, Amazon both got clapped out. They missed on earnings. It wasn't too bad. They did good on their guidance call on the reasons why. Um, so it wasn't all too bad. The the uh, Nasdaq and the SPY both kind of reflected that towards after hours, current hours right now. But I was telling one of my trading homies, I was like, I would not be surprised if they regain whatever they lost in after hours in the, in the beginning of the bell. That doesn't, I'm not telling you to go out there and go play caution. Call, call options right now or anything first day of the morning but usually when those power companies miss out they use the trend is that they will regain within the aftermarket in the pre-market and as soon as bells ring uh take off then they'll probably they'll probably they'll probably um get some of that some of them losses back but we'll see meta uh, Facebook, they killed their earnings. They were up over 23% after hours on Wednesday and on the opening of uh, today, <clears throat> um, Thursday, they were well over 25%. So they killed it. This was their best earnings in like four years that they've ever had, in which they, if you know about Meta, they've been clapped out for the last couple of couple of cycles. But enough about stocks and earnings. Sorry about that. I got a little tangent. I was trying to put some context behind the greed, what we're looking at right now. The sentiment is kind of neutral. In my opinion, I'm neutral. Even though this thing says green, I'm a little neutral because you just don't know. When people start talking about bull market, here comes the rally. I'm kind of staying offish and I'm just watching. And we're going to look at the chart, especially at the graph, their chart. I'm a little staying offish and a little cautious while everyone is like deploying money. I didn't already put some money. I took some profits. I'm setting them profits down in a stable coin, and I'm just going to be chilling and watching, man, because at the end of the day, even if I get back into certain plays and they start to increase, we're still getting them for a good discount because of the sell off that we had from last year. So I'm OK with that, but I'm not greedy just because this index is telling me great. I'm more so cautious, but that's me. Let's look at the portfolio real quick. Portfolio. Hey, Ranger's been going crazy. Ain't nothing changed. Um, this one in particular, Alliance Block. I know you guys probably heard about Alliance Block. 
they had a hack. And so they halted a lot of operation, which causes FUD, right? Fear and uncertainty. And so therefore people are starting to take money out. As you can see, it went from 13 cent all the way down to a penny, son. Sheesh. Sheesh. Goodness. I mean, created an all new low. You can see right here off the year, 96%. It was down three cent this week one cent now i have heard rumblings that they are coming out with a new menticon they took a screenshot so if you're in this they took a screenshot uh they'll be doing an airdrop or whatever the case may be but it's a sad day for them because they were actually they were they were booming man but you know this stuff happens in cryptocurrency unfortunately people get hacked or projects get hacked it's about what the team is going to do the dev team what are they going to do are they going to do the right thing and it seems like they're going to do the right thing time will tell we shall see right <clears throat> And then, of course, we're talking about the graph. The graph this week has been up 5.6%, 61% over the month, and it's still down 79% over the year from its all-time high of 48 cent off the year. is ranked number 58. Where can you buy the graph? Again, I'm not telling you where to buy it, but if you're looking at my crypto bubbles, it has Binance, KuCoin, Bybit. This is, what is that? Gate.io and Coinbase. I buy my graph off of Coinbase. <laughs> That's how I do it um yeah gala still singing looking good you know what i'm saying overall man you know it's kind of like like i said it's, it's it's up and down you still got some good pro uh, projects out here mass has been going crazy all week up 60 and a half yeah my portfolio is looking good man well balanced portfolio you want to make sure you well balanced even though this is not all of them i need to update this to reflect all of my portfolio holdings and i will do that very soon but just looking at this we we looking good uh real quick look uh, on the year, APTLs, EPOS is up over 117% over the year. Fairly new project. It's been killing it, right? Been killing it. Let me know if you got any you know, APTLs in your portfolio. Quant up 9% over the year. And then we started looking at some of the bangers that's uh, down. So like Fetch. Let me change that up. Boom. Anonymous Bach. We already talked about it. Down 96%. Helium. Helium down 90%. Uh, amp gala down in the 85 percent range sandbox still down 80 so you still getting these projects on a discount in my opinion so we start that's why i'm comfortable with taking some profits and keeping some dry powder or cash on the sideline as well and i don't have a problem getting back into these plays because we still getting them for a discount right this is what's in my portfolio you can see we still getting the red right all red fetch 19 percent it is what it is. New project mass 26, 30 percent polygon probably going to be making a lot of good traction. At the end of the day, you still getting it for a discount. If you used to walk in the Apple store and everything was 85 percent off, I'm pretty sure y'all going to stack up on iPhones. Same thing with Jordan's reference. Whatever the case may be, it's still a discount. That's how I look at it. <clears throat> Let's look at coin market cap before we get into the graph. Um, Bitcoin. Down one. Uh, sorry about that. Let me go back. We are still market cap over a trillion dollars. We were close to that 1.1, 1 .1, uh, but today we had, you know, profit taking. Understandable. The FOC, excuse me, the Fed, the Fed interest rate 0.25% uh, on the interest was raised this week. Tomorrow will be they will be bringing out the uh, unemployment. Um, numbers will be coming out tomorrow too, so that might affect the market as well. And plus, it's a Friday. So don't be surprised if you see major more pullbacks. We've been hot for the last three weeks. I'm expecting price corrections anyways. It is what it is. Bitcoin, 20, uh, like I said, down 1.2%. Ethereum down 1.5%. BNB down 2.2%. XRP down 0.13%. You can see it with, you, uh, with your eyes here. We pretty much just, you know, there's some opportunities, right? Depending on however your stop losses are set up or where you're buying in. We got some opportunities here. Polygonmatic down 4% on the 24 hour basis. Polkadot still holding strong at uh, up 3%. Avalanche, you already know, down 3.5 cent. I need to see this at 16 for me to even to dip my toes in. You dig what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, 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 yeah. But let's go ahead and jump into it, man. Let's go ahead and get right into the graph, man. Let's go ahead and get into the graph, man. So we come in here and search. Boom. Check out the graph again. Let me know if y'all rocking with graph, man. It's the 57 rank crypto out of 22,419 cryptos. That's not bad. 
That's not bad. Let's look at the market cap. The market cap is roughly $839 million. So you already know, under a billion to me, you can call this a small market. I'm going to put it right on that fence and just say it's a mid-market jewel. It's one of them ones for sure. You definitely want to tap in with the graph, in my personal opinion. We got the official website right here. So you already know we're going to click that and load that bad boy up. We're going to come over here and look at the community. You know what I'm saying? Again, if you in any of these projects, not just the graph, but any project, when you don't have Twitter, I recommend crypto Twitter is where you need to be for information, especially on the projects that you invest in. They're constantly giving updates on Twitter, lock in on Twitter, lock in on their discourse, their media pages. Reddit, whatever the case may be, make sure it's the official ones. Come to Coin Market Cap, click on that community button drop down, and you can go straight there. Boom, click on Twitter. We lit. You already know I'm following the graph. You know, the graph is a Web3 protocol organizing access and blockchain data, right? Look at this as Oracle. If y'all familiar with Oracle, uh, Google Cloud, um, a, 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 uh, AWS, the Amazon Web Services, data. Data is going to be one of the most important sectors in Web3. Listen, you could just take it, take it for take this information for what you want. You know what I'm saying? This is my opinion. It's very strong. I'm standing on it. I'm standing on business. Web3, most important sectors. Storage and security. Storage and security on two, the, two of the most important sections for Web3. Why? Where are we going to keep this data? It's going to be so much data being transferred from blockchain to blockchain, from network to network, from person to person, from dev to dev, being stored on servers, on servers. Where are we going to keep all this freaking data? It's going to have to get storage. It's going to be storage is going to be one of the hot ones. I'm telling you, all storage is going to be hot. It has a use case already, and that's storing data. You want to look at storage projects in the crypto atmosphere. I'm telling y'all, I'm not telling y'all just focus on the graph. You want to look at the whole entire sector. In my opinion, storage is going to be very important in the next bull run. We might see these potential potential cryptocurrencies really take off, especially when Web3 starts to get deployed. We already know big corporations are making their move to Web3. They're building out their foundation right now. The graph has been doing this since 2019. They are stable. They've partnered with Ethereum. Ethereum is going to be the, in my opinion, Ethereum is going to be one of the biggest Web3 enterprise. They're already known as the enterprise blockchain. It's going to be the biggest. It's already the biggest blockchain being built on. So with them switching over and getting better in their process, right? We know if Ethereum is not the best blockchain when it comes down to like the technology, right? But they going, but they are the most secure. They are the most reliable. I ain't gonna say they're most secure, but they are the most reliable. They are the the blueprint, right? They are the blueprint. It is what it is. If you don't like the theorem, it is what it is. Theorem's not going nowhere. They are the enterprise blockchain, and it's gonna be getting built on on top of the top of top of top. The graph, polygon, all of them building on top of Ethereum. If you know about polygon, then you already know the graph is gonna be one of those ones. It is what it is. You can. You can do. I'm talking very strongly about it because <clears throat> I've done my research in the graph and I, and I understand how this storage stuff is going to work. I'm in the IT space. Storage is very important. I digress. Anyways, the graph trading currently at nine cent. What a rally this thing has had. Uh, this project has had. Um, we've been in this for a minute, minute. I want to say anywhere between like, yeah, like maybe. Let's see if I can. Yeah, definitely below nine cents because we're in profits right now. I want to say anywhere like five or six cents. We kind of like read up on the graph. We've been holding graph for a minute, minute. I want to say over two or three years. Definitely uh, tapped in at the bottom um, and not saying it's not more bottom to come. But so far, we tapped in on the bottom, reload to the bags. So we sitting pretty over, let's see, 8.7 billion circulating supply right now. Verified with the blue check. Coin market cap total supply is about 10.5 billion with a B, big billies in the building. All right, and this is coin market, uh, coin market cap again. Always want to ch ch come down here and check out the price history all time high is two dollars and 88 cents. I was there for that profit taking, 
all time low. There's no data um, presented on that. And that's fine. We can look at the chart and kind of get an idea of what that all time low looked like. But the 52 week low is about five cents. So we can we can just roll with that one for right now. All right. That's coin market cap again. Tap in with coin market cap or coin gecko. Uh, you may the numbers may be a little skewed here and there, but the ideal is making this part of your research. Another thing that I wanted to bring up as far as like where the buy the graph, I need to start. I didn't do these in the other videos. You click on this markets right here and it'll let you know exactly where it's listed at far as what exchanges it is listed on. And it'll let you know also the current supply or is exchange reserve data or strange reward data. It's something that's since FTX shambles, a lot of these exchanges are starting to announce what they have in their holdings. So you see that little this little icon right here. You can hover over. You can kind of see what's going on. Uh, historic data. You can come here and kind of look at that. Break this down by date range, et cetera, et cetera. They got the news as well. And then you come back to the overview. One thing I want to kind of point on. This is a good place to do some research. Coin market cap does a great job of breaking down information. Cool, uh, no, excuse me. Uh, Coin Gecko do is, does it as well too. But if you was to click here, you can get the price live data. What is the graph? Right, it lets you know exactly what it is. Right, talks about pretty much everything. What makes the graph unique? Really good place to get some just common knowledge about the about the about your cryptocurrencies that you're holding or interested in getting into highly suggest tapping in and looking at that and as far as like once you made a decision if you want to start investing in a project they have this little converter here you can type in okay i want to put a hundred dollars in it's going to get me 104 graphs or that's ten dollars wow <laughs> what does say put in a hundred dollars and get you about um, 1045 graph I want to come in here and just big willy it, you know what I'm saying? Drop a 10 on it. <laughs> you feel me? Drop a 10 in, you know, and that kind of gives you an idea. And vice versa, if you want to take profits, say you holding 104,000, you're like, you know what? I want to sell 50,000. Okay, that's a that's forty seven hundred dollar profit, whatever the case may be. Boom, and you can go do your thing with your exchange. All right, let's get into it, man. We we are on a Twitter page. This is the official Twitter blue check. Two hundred fifty three thousand followers. This lets you know. You know what I'm saying? Again, a good place where you can get some information and some history on the, not even history, but information and um, what's going on, what they got going on, their AMAs. They announced it. They do a lot of stuff on here as far as on Twitter. Uh, they have the Twitter spaces. That's what it's called. Let's get into the website. APIs. What are APIs? Application Programming Interfaces. If you're not familiar with the term APIs, basically what it is, it's a query that's built on a back end. It's a script of code. You use the script of code and it can pretty much bring you information. So if you're creating a website, let's say you're creating something like coin market cap and you call it DeFi market cap or whatever the case may be. So you're creating this website and you want to get information about cryptocurrencies, right? You want to get this front end data right here, right? You want to have your website spit out this same information right here. Well, you would use an API, most likely on coin market cap. They have a developer website where you can grab their API and you can take different lines of code and say, I want to pull, I want to pull live, I don't know, let's say today's crypto price market, like the trending ones or recently add or whatever the case may be, or you want to get this like flow right here, right into your website. You can grab that API and inject it into your code of uh, onto your website, right? You can paste, copy and paste and in, inject that. And then you now can get the same type of readings. Now, I don't know if it's going to be the same as far as like the, the UI of it, but you can get this information um, displayed on the front end, right? So the back end, the back end of the code. If I was coming to this web, I hit expect. This is the back end, right? The lines of code here, right? This is back end data where the developers work. And then the front end is what we're looking at. So you'll get that back end query API, and that will produce this front end product of what we're looking at right here on the website. That makes sense? Cool. So the API is for a vibrant de decentralized future, right? Decentralized is all about ownership, right? We looked at web web 1.0, uh, web, web 2.0, which we're currently in, and web 3.0. Web 1.0, web 3.0 is going to be a combination of web 1.1 and web 2.0. Right. And the key thing is about user ownership. Right now, users, 
the web two it's not about ownership youtube owns your content right this is more monetization and having a more more user how can i put it like user it's the it's the people right it's all about the people's vote right so think of that as that as web3 is all about ownership where you can actually own your content that you're putting out if you're a content creator etc right for me i'm looking at who's going to be the next big youtube and the blockchain or even the web3 side of the house because let's say something happened to me on youtube i get kicked off i don't own that content youtube can do whatever they want to it i won't even get access to take take the content off of youtube and web3 where you have complete ownership you can pretty much do what you want right it's kind of like a record deal you hear about these artists selling their masters for a profit they're giving up their rights to their music and decentralization you own the rights to your content i think i stressed that enough right all right so a global graph qi api we talked about an api right so you have these little prompts here right these queries so you type in these queries in line of code and it produces information back to you on the front end so from this slideshow this slideshow is trash i'm gonna keep it a buck like i wanted you guys to see this it says what are the newest DeFi projects and it's showing you the code oh it stopped oh it did it man i was trying to make it like slow down that thing was speeding through so what is the government's per uh proposal have the most rep and you can see these are the queries here are the results that line of code will produce something on the front end for the user for the user to see so that is what the graph they're specializing in um the subgraphs that can be composed into a global graph of all the world's public information do you know how important this is like these APIs that they're or these queries are able to pull certain like let's say medical records car dealership like education healthcare I mean dog <laughs> I said like Kanye dog I'm telling you because this allows you to find a central location and not going to all these websites like I mentioned, like going to Coin Market Cap, getting their APIs, going to Coin Gecko, going to Coinbase, right? And you're trying to gather all these APIs. You can go to one central hub, the graph, and they already got this the world's information. It's already built into one of these APIs. That's insane, insane. And that and that right there, that's a beautiful use case because all these big corporations are going to be like. Well, we don't need to do the work. Let's just partner with the graph, right? I'm saying that just, you know, hypothetically, right? I'm not saying that that's what's going on now, but they're looking like, how can we make this easier and cheaper for us, right? To have access to this information. Well, the graph is producing it already. And then they're storing this on their cloud-based type servers. They didn't even talk about how they're storing this data. And it's a lot of data, y'all, a lot of data. And guess what? Devs, developers will have access to this data and it allows them to to move this data a lot faster than the current the current process what it says this data can be transformed organized and shared across applications from anyone to query with just a few keystrokes say goodbye to custom servers before the graph teams had to develop and operate indexing these servers these require significant engineering hardware resources and broke the important security properties required for decentralization. The graph is changing the game with that. It's going to be very important. Security, storage, the two biggest sectors I've mentioned, they're doing that now. Web3 is a new there's a web3 is a new stack for better internet. So Web3 is you're looking at if you if you know anything about developing about stacks, talking about stacks of code, stacks and language. The graph has created their own kind of Web3 stack and they improved the, what the Web3 stack is going to look like. Allegedly improved. We'll see. Right. We don't know yet. But the graph have their own process on how th their service data will be verified in a such a way. Right. I don't want to take a deep dive in this because I already been talking for a hot one. So in and all, you're going to get a better build for DeFi governance grants marketplace entertainment social media so if twitter wants to say i think twitter's already working with mass network but let's say they wanted to work with the graph they already have a setup apis in the store they can run their socials ig facebook whomever right they can end up potentially partnering with the graph because it's already built out again 
bigger companies don't want to necessarily build their own their own format if it's already out there and it's for cheaper and secure and it's faster. They'll rather use it and partner up with you. That's how it goes. Beautiful website overall. The graph is uh, main hosted off of Ethereum. It's an ERC-20 project. And as you can see, it's hosting services from some of the ones that you might have seen. BNB, Polygon, Near Protocol, Jello, Avalanche, Phantom, Fuse, Moon River, Allura, Moonbeam, Harmony, Boba. I mean, Cosmo. I mean, you see that they're already working with some of the, some of your favorite projects right now. And you some of you guys are probably holding some of these projects currency in your portfolio and probably didn't even know it, huh? <laughs> so yeah, Graph is one of those ones. I highly suggest you go check them out. Do your due diligence. Jump in there. Jump into it. Look at the white papers. Papers. They got the documents here. Uh, they talk about security. If you're looking for a job, they got that. Their box site as as well. Let's get to the chart, man. <laughs> Let's get to the chart. Now I got some pre lines already on here. I kind of want to just kind of jump in it. As you can see, two hundred dollars and eighty something cent, eighty eight. 88 cent or so has been the uh, all time high and roughly five cent has been the low. And I'm pretty sure you can see that right here on this candle right here. This low candle is about five, uh, five cent, one sixteen. And from there, we kind of bounced off here. Now, now, based off of based off this, the genesis of this from Coinbase, right? When Coinbase listed it, uh, we can kind of see that it had a nice little two thousand twenty eight hundred percent rally, right? Could we see another 28% rally? Sure, right? It hasn't had its big, big rally just yet. What would that look like if we come here for the bottom of the candle? Let's say this happened yes tomorrow. I'm not saying it will. That will put us roughly about $2.41. Now, we know the all-time high is roughly about $2.88, so that we'll still kind of fall short. But based off of that, that will kind of push us up in that $2.30 range. I want to come down to that bottom low, that swing low, put us about a dollar forty-five, and as you can see, we're already in a downward wedge as well, right? We have our flat pump. We've been trading downward. This middle line represents a middle resistance slash support because we've been creating, uh, we've been bouncing off that as well too. So the overall, we're in this downward wedge, and so I've been kind of trade tracking that from a middle standpoint as well too because I've been seeing opportunities as well. We got a, a nice supply zone right about in this area. If you don't know what that looks like, let me draw that out for you. Where's my box, baby? Where's my box, baby? Uh-uh. We don't want that. Oh, I swear I had my what's the name. Where's my box? I'm bugging, y'all. I was just tripping. So we had this sell off right here, right? This nice supply area. I'll make that red and let me know that supply. All right, this nice sell off right here, right? What it supplies when you have a a a, 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 a a swift movement to the downside, meaning prop people are taking profits very quickly, and so therefore the price action reacted to it. Uh, we also have one here. All right, I'm just drawing them real out, real quick. Type on um, right here, and then we have. I mean, yeah, that's what I'm seeing right now, right? So we have those supplies. We really have any demand right now, and that's okay, right? And that's okay. We're not even tripping on that. Let's hide that event out the way. Volume on here is pretty decent. This is the weekly chart. If I was to bring this down into the daily, we'll definitely get more information for sure. Right, you can kind of see these supply and demand zones a little bit better now, right? We had that supply zone here back in 2021, retest, reject it, and created another supply sell-off, massive sell-off here back in March of last year. We sold off. Now, I always always tell people, man, stocks and crypto price action has muscle memory. What I mean by that is eventually it will come back and retest those supply zones. As you can see here, right, we had the supply sell-off here. Right. Massive sell off. And what did it do back here in November 2021? It retested, rejected it, but it came back and retested that. You can even say, OK, it came pretty close here, but we can see that we clearly jumped into the supply area. Big ballers, big pockets said with the with the, hey, the big boys with the millions and the good analysts was like, nope, this price is hot. 
this market doesn't make sense let's take profits probably bought back in here right and just kind of scalped the market for a few months or whatever the case may be sold off and as you can see pretty pretty decent sell-off you did a nice little pull back here into this like smaller just some uh, smaller supply area rejected and then we went on a free fall and this is roughly what is this back in april of last year just sold off and then that's when we started creating this little downward channel here the smaller version right that i'm that I, that's why i drew this medium line here started kind of consolidating down testing and bouncing off of this resistance line and now we're here at the resistance line a little bit above the 20 the 200 um sma which is the red line and as you can see the 50 and 100 is about to cross right now the 50 uh sma is the yellow the 101 100 sma is the purple line uh so we're seeing a nice little uh breakthrough on air rsi is pretty pretty stable it's not hot it's not cold we are above 50 which still indicates a uprise which we are confirmed that we are in a uptrend here from this double bottom so we are moving upward the rsi is not telling us we don't see any divergence right now so all that is to be said to be true uh, so we just watching right now right now far as like buying opportunities where are some good buying opportunities for the graph in my opinion right you have this swing low right right here this is when the, the kind of bottom out and popped so that's a good buying opportunity about eight cent if you want to like tighten this up you know to kind of see other opportunities we've got another swing low here market was rising we pulled back that's the swing low market to continue to rise so you're looking at seven cent and if you want to get a third opportunity to buy would say this confluence or this little confluence build up area where we had the double bottom right here at five cent that'd be a good opportunity to get in there and to buy. If this thing starts to sell off and rejects this upper trend line, which it has had done in previous, right? We have seen that. So those are good three buying zones, right? So let's do a little forecasting. Let's play the little game of what's the possibility. Where could this, where does the graph have the potential to possibly go in a bull run, right? And I'm gonna pull the weekly out because it's less data. Let me get rid of some of these. Matter of fact, I'm just going to clear the whole chart, right? And I'm going to use the Fibonacci retracement. I'm going to come from the bottom, go to the top. We already know the 100% line on this on the Fibonacci would take us roughly about back at $2.88, which is the all-time high. So with that being said, we can kind of look and see what the new price discovery may look like in a bull run. Do we Could we pull back at the all-time high? What would that look like? If we was to come here. So here, that's about a 5,000% run up, but let's do it right from that high to here, right? It's roughly about a three, 3,400% run up from the current low all the way back over here. What that means, if you were to have, let's say, $1,000 in this particular play and it runs up to a 34X or up to 3,000%, you can just times that that those profits right so if let's say current price divided by all-time high pull out my calculator so you got two dollars 88 cent here let me pull this so y'all can't see it two dollars 88 cent divided by 0 0.095 wait 0 0.095 right oh i didn't take it hold on sorry guys two dollar 88 cent by the way zero point zero nine i'm tripping zero point zero nine five by the by i might be doing this wrong <laughs> and i'm not gonna change it uh, i'm not gonna edit this out y'all gonna see me struggle with this so that's about a 30x <laughs> big struggle fest <laughs> hey we gonna keep it real we gonna keep it raw man you know what i'm saying it is what it is man i was struggling y'all so it looked about about a 30x on your money right <laughs> that's basically what it is it is what it just said so let's say if you had we're gonna calculate back out <laughs> let's say you had i don't know um 5,000 uh grt tokens you times that by all-time high of $2.88. 
right? Boom, roughly about 14, 14 bandos. It's not a bad day, right? 14 bandos, 14. Uh, so yeah, so could it pull it back and do that? Possible, right? Like I said, this is a major sell-off, right? Major sell-off. This is a supply zone. Eventually it will retest all-time highs. I do not know when that day will be. I am not an oracle or a wizard or anything like that. And I don't have a crystal bar, but I do know price action will retest itself, especially if we can get in this bull market where you already know how crypto do in a bull market. But again, this is going to have to, it's going to depend on adaption, partnerships, good news, et cetera, on the graph. You know, no scandals, nothing crazy, you know, no rug pulls or anything like that. As long as they can keep their nose clean and to deliver on what they say, I don't see them not having a problem in the next bull run. It's definitely one of those ones that you definitely should be looking into. In my personal opinion, you do what you want. Now, price discovery wise, right? Looking on the Fibonacci, still looking on the Fibonacci, we're looking at the 161% level. That's a that's about a four dollar and sixty nine cent, right? On that. Let's pull that down some. Pull that up. Right, right. Hits the 227%. That's about a six dollar, six and a half dollar. Two two sixty one percent. That's about seven and a half. Um uh, if it hits the top, that's a twelve dollar push, right? So again, let's look at it, right? Let's get excited. Let's look at it. Look at the calculator. And um we said we had what ten thousand graphs. We times that by the top of this, right? Saying it can hit $12.20. So we'll times that times 12.20, right? That's not a bad day, right? And I know what you're thinking, shooter, that's the best case scenario. The graph will never go that high. Come on, man. I get it, right? I get it. Let's say if we we already saw what we if what it what it would look like if we pull back to the all time high. Let's say this thing falls short. Like let's say it just reaches a dollar and fourteen, uh, fourteen cent. So you still got your ten thousand graphs you times that by a dollar fourteen, right? Eleven eleven bandos. Well, Shoner, how do you know? Maybe it goes from nine nine cent to a penny. Okay, I give you that too. Negative Nancy, <laughs> I'll give you that too. To be fair, times that 0.01%, right? If you came in at 0.99 cent, obviously you're about to take an L, right? And that's what that looks like, a $100 investment. So for me, you know, I'm okay. If it pulls back to one cent, I'm buying more. That's me because I've done my homework. I know what they're on. I know how important storage and security is going to be. I know how important this, this use case is. In, very important for web three if this thing pulls back to one cent me personally i'm buying more right uh, but let's you know let's keep it going right Ten thousand tokens let's just say it falls short in the bull run and it only gets to i don't know two dollars and thirty cent which is the 78 percent line you times that two dollars thirty cent 23 bandos that's not bad right and that was based off of what 10,000 tokens times 0 0.09 if you was the if you was bought it under a thousand dollars um investment again i am not telling you to buy sell or hold i'm giving you both scenarios the best case scenario worst case scenario worst case scenario is things decide to roll pool and just takes a dump you're out of your money, right? If you put in $900 or whatever you put in, this thing decides to rug pull or just disappear, then you're out of your money. That's the worst case scenario. Best case scenario, we fill up this Fibonacci, find new price discovery at $12.20. Not saying that and it can continue to go, right? But best case scenario, <clears throat> off the Fib, $12.20 with 10,000 coins, you know? And maybe you can't afford, you know, nine hundred dollars or whatever the case may be. Maybe you just gonna say, you know what, shoot, I'm just gonna get fifteen hundred coins. Okay, cool. Let's see what that looked like at the top of the fib. That's not a bad day, right? Uh, fifteen hundred coins times the uh, previous all time high, two dollars eighty eight cent. What does that look like? That's not a bad day, right? Because what did you spend on the fifteen hundred coins? Fifteen hundred coins times zero point zero. Nine, you spend one hundred and thirty-five dollars, right? Made one hundred, 
hundred spent one hundred thirty five dollars made four hundred four could possibly make four thousand three hundred twenty. Could you know what I'm saying? Could possibly make eighteen grand. Whatever the case may be, this stuff right here. This is not me shilling. This is me showing you how to manage your investment. Every dollar that you put into a crypto or a stock is an employee. Figure out how many employees do you need for you to get a return on your investment so you can get more employees and deploy them into uh, the same project or in other projects. You have to look at this as a business. You are the CEO of your portfolio. You are a CEO of your money. Each dollar that you work hard to obtain is an employee and you need to deploy your employees to make you more money. And if you don't have a plan on when to get into projects, I just showed you if this thing pulls back where I'm looking at, when to take profits, right? People talk about dollar cost average in the place, but they never tell you dollar cost, how the dollar cost hours out of place, right? How do you do that on a, on a, on a, on a speed, on a quick note, I'm looking at the swing highs, right? The high hits, right? So if I was like, wanted to start take money out and it hit 15 cents, I might take profit for me. I need to see this thing get back to all time high before I even think about taking profits, right? We're in a bear market, right? But I'm just giving you examples, right? 15 cent off this swing high. Here's another swing high. What's that swing high? 52 cent. Here's another swing high. What is that? $1.28. And then the all time high, $2.88. Cent. I just gave you three potential profit taking points. If this project continues to go upward, you need to have those set. Set an alert so you're not looking at charts all day. Me breaking down that calculator is if you should know what every every cryptocurrency coin or token is doing and when to take it out to market. Because at the end of the day, I'm going to sit up on this because a lot of people on YouTube, we're going to a moon. They'll tell you graph is going to one hundred dollars. We still at nine cent. Could graph blow up like quant from 80 cent to two hundred dollars? Absolutely. It could. But I'm not here to tell you that and get you all like moist in your face. I hope I don't get monitored. I hope I don't get kicked off for saying that. I'm not here to, you know, tickle your fancy. I'm letting you know this is how investors do it. This is how we do this thing, right? You know me. I've been doing this a long time, man. I ain't new to this, right? I may be new to the crypto information, but I ain't new to trading. It's all the same. It's all the same. Price action, price action, volume is volume. RSI is RSI, indicators are indicators, baby. I know I know these like the back of my hand, baby boy. Believe that. So just be wary when you on here searching up the graph as far as like information, man. If I was to search it right now, I want to get nobody no free promo. You'll see the bull jive, the meat, the oh my god, graph to the moon with the rocket ship, thumbnails and all that stuff. Listen, man. Do your own research. Even what I'm telling you now. Take it at face value. You go do your own research. I gave you the blueprint. I gave you Coin Market Cap where to start at. I gave you the official website. I gave you the Twitter. I'm letting you look at the chart and how I look at things. Right? Continue. Get better in a bear market. This is where in a bear market you gain information and knowledge. You do all your research in the bear market because the market's pulling back. Find your cryptocurrencies you infatuated with. Get into those. In the bull market, we take profits. That's simple, man. Anyway, man, I didn't talk to y'all. I'm pretty sure you guys is like, damn, shooter. I thought you said you going to make these videos shorter. I'm sorry, man. I get passionate because I love y'all. I want to make sure y'all go out here and get handled the right way and not get, you know, manipulated on the Internet and have y'all going out here spending hundreds of thousands or thousands of dollars that you may not have to be even put in there because somebody told you the graph was going to $100. I just showed you that. That's not the case right now. Still in the bear market. You see, it, it, it got a lot of legs to get to 100. But I'm, again, it could, but not not right now. <laughs> I mean, hell, this mug, this mug can pull down right now. You dig? It can pull all the way back down to one cent. But, yeah, I'm passionate, man. Passionate about this. I want to make sure I help y'all, man, because I've been in the position of not having an OG over me looking looking to help me man i have to learn the hard way take big knocks big losses all types of stuff man i want to try to make sure that you guys don't go through that i got a crypto but how to crypto the link is in the comp in the uh in the description top description check it out especially if you knew it's a to z guy i share all my bad experiences my good experience pretty much the bad good and the ugly 
talk about the big profits that I've made, how I made it, what I've done, what I've learned since 2015 when I got into cryptocurrency. I share that. It's like an A to Z guide. Super easy read, super easy. No, no big techno mumble jumble stuff. Give you a little history of Bitcoin, bought market cycles, etc. The psychological, they, everything, ledgers, websites, the bookmark, etc. Check it out. How to crypto. I also did a video guide as well, too. So not only do you get the ebook, you get the video guide. So you can watch the video and get the extra sauce. Look at the guide, bookmark it, etc. etc. Replay it, roll it back, and it's yours forever. So go check out that ebook. I think it's a really good ebook. I update it. It's a live, it's a live ebook, meaning I'll go back and update it. And then I'll have your email address and I'll see you the updated version as well for free. No cost. Also got an ebook on the way. Um, it's gonna it's entitled the Web 3, Web 3.0. That's gonna break down the history of just web 1.2. 1.1 2 and 3 and then what we're looking into a lot of that information i've been talking in my discord i got a discord link as well we've been in these ai plays way before they got hot because i'm big on web 3 i understand what is coming in web 3 i'm in tech right now so we've been talking about ai ar all that vr all that type of stuff we already established and identified which plays that we need to be in and we've been in them early already took massive profits so i got that ebook that's going to be coming out very soon and of course i got other things going on that i want y'all to talk about i'm shooter and investor to therefore i'm talking about other invest investments that i'm in or currently about to get in or currently doing for myself meaning my tech company that i have as well so that's something totally different hey i talked to y'all enough man I love y'all, man. Stay locked in. If I have good information, give me the thumbs up. Share this video. Subscribe to the gang. And we back with another one at another time. It's your boy, Shooter and Investor, man. I'm out. Peace, y'all. Man, I know this video long, man. I love y'all so much, man. <laughs>